kind of stuff. She's like, yeah, she ain't doing nothing, all of that. Talking about me, like, she sent her there to watch me. Like, I'm going to terrorize her shop or something, guys. So you picking on somebody younger than you when you're almost 30 and have a kid is insane. She's like, no, because I heard you in the nail tech talking about me. We have clients and you're arguing with us. Oh, you're going to be done by 930? I was like, yeah, I should be done. She's like, that's what I'm talking about. Girl been disrespecting me for a whole week, harassing me for a whole week. And now the second I want to say something is I'm so disrespectful. I'm so disrespectful. She hasn't said a word to me this whole day. The second her baby father get in the shop, now she want to say something to me. Hey guys, it's Jayla Monet and I'm back with another video. You guys seen the title. I have another story time for you guys. This is gonna be, I'm gonna be telling y'all why these shop owners are literally so unprofessional. Like, this is like a salon horror story. For those of you who don't know, I'm a lash artist, so I used to run booths from like salon owners and stuff like that to work in their shop. Cool, but I've literally had the worst experiences ever renting booths from salon owners, so. Yeah, since I have to deal with it, I got to hear about it today. So it's going to be like a fake little mug thing. Look how beautiful. Yeah, I see it. So this situation happened probably about four months ago, okay? So if y'all didn't watch why I moved out of the shop before that story time, that one's up. So this is a new shop after the last one I moved out of. So, so I basically only found the owner because my friend recommended her to me because I was looking for new spaces to work out of after, you know, the situation with the last shop and everything like that. So my friend sent me her Instagram, you know, I DM'd her and everything like, hi, oh, like, um, someone so told me that like, you have rooms available. Okay, okay, okay. So I was able to come like two days later to look at the room. I said, I'll take it. Like I needed somewhere to work because I was like, like in a rush to leave the other shop, so. So I moved in like two, three days later or whatever, moved all my stuff. She helped me and everything. Like this girl was super, super, super nice. So it was two other girls working at the shop when I was there. So there's one girl she did, they both did here. One of them I knew though, she was a friend's friend. So I knew her, we was really cool and everything. So she ends up leaving because she wants to be home based now. Yeah, this should have been my first red flag. The, um, basically like she told the owner nicely, like I'm, we're gonna call the owner something. We're gonna call her pink. We're gonna call her pink so the girl told pink like hey like i just want to be home based like you know like i'm sorry like for the inconvenience if any and stuff like that like this situation was handled pretty good so pink tried to tell her well like i'm going to sell the room so you can move into a smaller one for the rest of the month or like you could just leave or whatever so cool it was like no problem but then pink started acting weird towards her i guess because the girl was leaving they was real cool because this girl has been there like since pink first started like since pink first got the shop so the girl will come in pink wouldn't say nothing to her like and she's very friendly like, she'll speak to us hi and everything like that she was just acting so standoffish with we're gonna call her um we're gonna say we're gonna call her law so she was acting so like standoffish with La and it just, it was getting weird. Like, I don't know if she was mad that La was leaving the shop, whatever the case was, but she was just acting so weird towards the girl. And I'm just like, I don't like being in the middle of stuff cause um, I, I'm cool a lot. And then Pink would be trying to vent to me and tell me what's going on. And I'm the type like, I just stay out of it. Like, I don't want nothing to do with it. Like, if it has nothing to do with me, I really don't care. Like, you know, so they had that going on. So the day that um, La was moving out, Pink just was telling me, she was like, oh my God, like, what's taking her so long? Like, who she got coming in the car to help her? Like, thinking that Lala's trying to be funny, like, trying to bring someone in here to, like, fight her or something. When she literally just needed the person to help put the stuff in her car. Like, I think it was her boyfriend or something. So, I don't know if she was just being paranoid, but it was never that serious. So, after La came to the shop to get her nails done, because now after La left, a nail tech moved in. My friend now. So, she came to get her nails done, and... Pink tried to tell her, no, you can't get your nails done here, all of this stuff. And it's just like, why are you so mad? So now they're going back and forth, arguing and stuff, do DMs because Pink was showing me. And I'm just like, like, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, this is not my business. So that should have been my first red flag. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to talk too much about their situation because it's my situation that really matters. So that should have been my first red flag. Like, okay, like she's weird. So now La left. So it's me, a hairstylist, another lash tech comes in, and then my friend who is a nail tech, okay? 
my bad so i had a notification so now we're all working at the shop it was just me the hairstylist and the nail sec at first then another lash tech came so the pink decides to change the locks and not really change it because she gave us all the key like she said on the contract i'm going to tell y'all what the contract said um 24 hour access you know we get our own keys and stuff like that how much the rent is when to pay you by um if we want to leave um i think she needs like a 30 day notice or something like that so just basic stuff like a little printed up contract that she just printed out and we signed cool so now she changes the locks guys and we're just like uh what are you changing the locks for like we all have keys like i thought that that this was 24 hour access like this is what we signed for so she changed it to a code and wouldn't give us the code she texts us in a group chat like hey guys um i changed the lock keep in mind she was changing them the day la was leaving like she's gonna come back and terrorize the shop like to me it was just never that serious and if you're gonna change it change it and give us all the key because in the contract it said we have our own access so now it's a cold on the door and we just like what so in the group chat she's like yeah it's a cold now um only i will have it until i can fully trust you guys and this is just thrown out of left field because you we we all had a key so it's just like it didn't make no sense now all of a sudden you don't trust us she's like yeah i spoke to my other uh business owners they said then they don't know what they're talking about regardless if that's what you want to do then you can't have one thing in the contract and you're not abiding by that like you cannot like it doesn't work like that the world does not work like that so um she's asking in the group chat so yeah just let me know what days you guys are gonna come in so i can make sure that i'm there to open the door or um or y'all can write it in this book that she had on her desk to let us know what days so the problem is having businesses like this nail tech lash tech whatever you do you can have last minute clients you can have someone book an hour before like saying oh can they come in like squeezing feet whatever the case is so now we would have to go tell her within that hour time frame yeah i'm gonna take this client this time and what if she's not available and most of the time she wasn't she had to try to get her mother to open the door and it was a whole hassle just because she didn't want to give us a key or a code to the door so she already broke the contract so we're just like what girl like it just didn't make any sense so she was venting to me like when i tell y'all me and this girl were cool like we were cool like we would talk vent to each other she'll tell me stuff and i'll tell her stuff vice versa like we were cool so she always felt like she could confide in me so she told me like yeah this is stressing me out like everybody got to be here at different times some people not writing in the book some people coming late but i'm telling her like you told us it's 24 hours like and if you feel like this is so overwhelming because we all work different times we have our own businesses at the end of the day then why would you not give us our own access because now we have to rely on you so you can't be mad if you're jumping around trying to make sure this person this person can get in because you caused that for yourself so that did not make any sense to me like i was literally mind blown i just was saying like why can't we just get a key oh i just don't fully trust everyone like not so much you but the new people and i'm just like regardless you cannot have one thing in a contract then do another and that's just what she was not understanding so this was the first straw with her guys this was the fir first straw then if I would leave something at night, I couldn't even get back in to get it. I had to wait till the next morning when she would be there because I can't call her 3 a.m. to get out the bed. And the thing with me and the nail tech, we take late appointments. So now we have to rely on this girl to be there late. Like, it's just, and she won't be there late because she has a kid to pick up. And it just got so annoying. So now I feel like we running on her time. How I got my own business and I'm running on your time. That's the thing with these shop owners. Like, they forget, cool, we're renting a booth in your shop. But we all have our own businesses. Ain't nobody the boss of me, but God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have that mindset. Nobody, like, I don't care who shop I'm renting out of. I have my own business that I need to worry about. I'm paying you your rent. Cool. Like, that's it. So, let me move my window up. It's getting a little chilly. So, now, yeah, upstairs from the shop. It's this annoying ass upstairs neighbor, guys. She's one of the neighbors. Like, she's a Karen. She complains about every little thing. So, when we were working later at night, like around 9, 10. You have the music on in the shop from the TV. Guys, the music, like the TV will be on seven. She will be complaining, knocking on the door, banging. She called the cops on us and even the cops walked in like, they didn't even hear no music. So she was just one of the neighbors like, who just don't want nobody downstairs from her type of thing. Like she's one of the neighbors who think that they own the whole building. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. So now she's calling the cops on us every day, guys. Every day, this girl's calling the cops on us upstairs. And we're just like, oh, my God. Even the cops will come and just be like, like, what is she complaining for? Like, And we would, like, we would say the same thing. Like, she used to be like, yeah, they're throwing parties. The cop will walk in. Like, it's four of us in here. 
doing clients so quiet like you know what i'm saying so now i guess the owner of the building finds out that the lady's calling the cops and everything so now she talks so now he talks to pink so he's trying to say like yeah like by the state like um you can't be here it is late past 10 that's what the cops were saying too when they would come and we would answer the door like after a certain hour if you don't have a certain license you can't be here comes to find out guys don't pink doesn't have no licenses for the shop only thing she had hanging up on that wall was a certificate a certificate i print out and give my students when i teach my lash courses that's all she had on the wall guys like that's all she had on the wall so now she says to us in a group chat like hey guys so now i'm gonna have to start closing the shop at nine i'm gonna get in trouble with the state if that don't work for you guys let me know and we're just she's like she's like oh it's gonna be in effect tomorrow so we're just like what like we have late night clients scheduled for tomorrow like it's such an inconvenience to us especially when you have something stated in the contract that you know it's 24 hour access so now we're just like what like this is an inconvenience like we're gonna lose out on so much money we're gonna have to cancel clients try to move clients earlier like when we're already booked for that day so we were like literally so aggravated guys we were so aggravated and we're trying to tell her like is there nothing we can do like we can just have no music it could be silent have all the lights off just our ring lights on like and she just was not having it she kept saying no like guys like, i can't i'm gonna get in trouble with the state guys if you have a shop i'm gonna so now i'm talking to you guys if you're looking for booths or everything like that make sure the owner has all of their licenses please 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 make sure the owner has all of their licenses because it'll affect you at the end of the day you gotta have all your stuff in order but if that owner of the shop don't have what they need in order it's never gonna work and we didn't know that she had no licenses or nothing we think since she got the shop she had all her stuff but she didn't so now she's talking about how the state is going to get involved and stuff like that so i'm just like oh my god so we were trying to all abide by it but sometimes we would go a little bit over nine o'clock because stuff happens like it's a, this is like this is the type of business you don't really know if you're going to finish exactly at a certain time like some clients are more difficult than others so we really don't know so that was the second red flag okay well no that was the second thing she did third thing okay so i guess she realized like you know um we wasn't leaving exactly at nine we was leaving a little bit after so she we're all in the shop one day and she was like okay i'm gonna have a meeting with you guys and we're just like okay so she f waits for her client she waits till she finishes her client while we're all working to have a meeting so now she's talking to us why we have a client so she's like yeah like um she's coming crazy like she's like being very aggressive so she's like yeah i i don't know what the issue is like does anybody have a problem with this time and we're just like bro like this is so unprofessional we have clients and you're arguing with us so her and the nail tech end up going at it like they're going at it back and forth i forgot exactly what they were saying but basically just something with the time she was saying like well that's saying convenience so they're going back and forth we have clients guys my thing is if you want to talk to us talk to us after the clients like i love how she waited for her client to leave but want to argue with us why we have our clients like to me like bro that is so unprofessional like this really topped it so she asked so she's like nail tech do you have a problem here styles do you have a problem do you have a problem why we're all lashing guys and i'm just not all lashing i'm lashing the other two is doing what they're doing but like are you serious so i'm like no like the time is fine and i'm only saying that because i can't say no and get kicked out when i don't have a shop another shop secured yet i'm not stupid so i'm gonna be like yeah kumbaya it's all cool but when i get another shop i'm out of here so whatever so she ends up leaving so me and the nail tech are still there so she um what you call it she me and her just talking because like that's my girl like we're friends so we're talking and um, we're like talking about the meeting and we're like yeah like that was really unprofessional like i don't know why she did that and everything like not bashing or nothing we were just talking about that situation like that was unprofessional she could have waited till after our clients to talk to us okay cool next day y'all so the next day i come in the shop y'all keep in mind me and the girl were cool like i would want to say friends but i don't call everybody my friend but and i'm talking about pink like bro she wanted me to model for her clothing brand she would always ask me for her business tips tell me her whole life story like me and this girl were cool so i come in the next day like even during all of this like i'm still acting normal like hey girl like when i come in like still acting fine because i don't act weird like so i come in i'm like oh hey she ignores me so i'm like um 
okay maybe a bad day like i didn't know what the issue was so she's ignoring me she has her friend in the shop with her and you know when you could tell somebody talking about you they kept looking at me in the nail tech like you know like this like giving us dirty looks talking about us and i'm just so confused like i'm literally mind blown i'm just like um okay like i really didn't care so i'm on the phone i don't know if i was on the phone with a client or something but she trying to talk to me and say shit to me while I'm on the phone, like, being rude. Like, not excusing me. Like, Jayla, da, da. I'm like, what? And I'm, like, on the phone. I'm like, okay, hold on real quick. Answer her question that she asked me, like, what time I'm leaving today and stuff. But it's like, why are you doing all that? Because this is not you. Like, act like yourself, please. Like, that's not true. So, she leaves, guys. So, me and the nail tech, like, what the heck? Like, that's weird. Like, why is she acting like that? She leaves, y'all. I'm in the bathroom. Just finished my client. I'm in the bathroom. She calls me. I'm like, hello? Still acting normal, y'all. I'm like, hello? She's like, um, if you don't want to be here, if you have an issue, you could leave. I'm like, oh, like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm fine. Like, she's like, no, because I heard you and the nail tech talking about me, saying I'm unprofessional. I'm like, that was unprofessional. We wasn't talking about you. We were talking about the situation. What you did was unprofessional she's like well jayla you can leave so now it's just giving you don't want me here i'm like it's fine i'll stay still because keep in mind during this whole time i'm still looking for shops but i'm not saying nothing till i have one secured so i'm like no it's fine it's fine it's fine bro like i just want to be like f this is so bad y'all but just because i didn't have another shop i didn't say nothing so i'm just like it's fine it's fine it's fine it's crazy because when the tech, we was both talking but you called me that's the thing because everybody know i'm so nice and they think that they can walk all over me then this is the same nail tech what she was arguing with because she, so she knew not to say none to her and they're close to the same age i'm the youngest one so you picking on somebody younger than you when you're almost 30 and have a kid is insane i'm literally 21 and you arguing with me when the real person you should be having static with you're not having static with because my friend was coming crazy at her but she ain't want to say nothing to her like i don't like stuff like that like people pick and choose who they want to argue with and i don't like that because i'll argue with anybody i don't care like so it's just like you know like that i hate stuff like that when people pick and choose like no because i promise like bro people think i'm so nice all of this i'm very nice but if you really test me i promise you found the right one like bro like i don't know i'm not for none of that so i tell the nail tech what happened she's just like what like that's so weird why she ain't say nothing to me i'm like exactly girl like that's so weird like and we're just laughing it off because we're so um bothered like we just there to make money i'm not there to be making friends with these people like we're just there to make money like you know what i'm saying so now the nail tech leads to a new shop so now it's just me the hairstylist and the other lash tech okay and they're the type not really talking about them but they i feel like not necessarily the lash tech but the hairstylist was kind of just kissing her eyes so she wasn't gonna leave or nothing like that so i'm looking for shops now the nail tech sending me to the shop she at and everything so the owner was acting super 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 weird towards me since that phone call or whatever and it's the fact she checked the cameras to hear that conversation uh, bro when i first when she interviewed me whatever she did she was like yeah i don't check the cameras like i don't do stuff like that girl you would like i can't trust your word no more everything on a contract is broken like what next so she starts doing little stuff to make me feel uncomfortable like she would be on the phone i could tell she was talking about me she had her cousin come in one time to watch me at the shop y'all and when the girl walked in i was the only one there and i had a client so I'm, so she comes in i'm thinking like there's somebody client or whatever so i'm like hi like you have an appointment with somebody because i had a client i knew she wasn't my client so i'm like hi like you have an appointment with somebody she just look at me she like no I'm like, okay, that's not my client because my clients be with the vibes. My clients be with the good vibes, okay? So I'm just like, okay, like, okay, like, so then I peep her on the phone with Pink. So I knew, like, this is her cousin or something like that. So they talking and stuff. She's like, yeah, she ain't doing nothing, all of that. Talking about me, like, she sent her there to watch me. Like, I'm going to terrorize her shop or something, guys. And I'm just like, I, I was like, that was very uncomfortable. Like, I had the music turned, um, the i just had the music on she would try to talk over it or cut the music down i'm like yo like this is not happening like this this cannot be happening right now like this cannot be happening so then pink comes to the shop with the cousin oh like hey okay i'm back you can leave now like girl don't nobody want nothing in this shop like don't nobody want nothing in this shop like bro like people need to really know their place and remember who they are because at the end of the day you was asking me for advice for everything when it came to your business so for you to be acting like this towards me when i was helping you is insane like i just like people morals 
just be out the window like it's crazy so yeah that was the last straw for me that was the last straw for me and i'm still being so respectful to this girl telling her what times i'm coming in every day to make sure she's there and everything she would just be like okay 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 like it was just so weird i finally found a new shop i worked i ended up going where the nail tech was so i went where she was at guys so i texted the owner so nicely i'm gonna see if i can find all the messages and stuff so i can place them all in the video to have my receipts and everything like that i texted her i'm like hey i thought about it i'm gonna leave i found a new shop um wish you the best thank you for the opportunity just gassing her head and being nice because i'm such a respectful person and there's no hate in my heart at all for anybody so i'm just like yeah like you know being real nice she gonna be like okay you're so bitter I've never met somebody that's bitter in their life. I don't know if she mad because everybody leaving the shop now except the hairstylist. Because everybody ended up leaving but the hairstylist. Her and the hairstylist are the only ones there to this day. So, yeah. So, that was that. And then she was just like, okay. So, I told her the last day I would be there and stuff like that. So, when that day comes, she texted me. She's like, hey, um, how many clients do you have today? I told her. And then she's like, okay, well, just to let you know, you can't get no deposit back, all of that. Because it's before 30 days. You the one who kept saying if I want to leave, then leave. But I said, you know what I said? I said, hey, LOL, it's fine. Like, I wasn't going to ask for her back. She said, okay. Like, just being so bitter when I'm being so nice, guys. Like, I'm being so nice to this girl because, like, I don't really, like, it's whatever. Like, it ain't nothing to find another shop. Like, everything is going to come in due time. So, she's just so mad and bitter. I'm over here, like, you know, thank you for the opportunity. She's like, yeah. Like, you know, like, ew. Like, we just, you need to seek Jesus. Like, that's what it's giving. Like, ew. So, now, this is when everything go down, y'all. This is when everything goes down. So I come in the day that I'm leaving, right? I have four clients that day, the day that I was leaving. So I have four clients. So I had to do all four clients and then pack all my stuff and leave. So while I'm there, um, she keeps coming in and out, in and out, in and out to see like what I'm doing and stuff like that. Like I'm really gonna do something to her shop. Like in the fact, like she know me, like she know I was never doing nothing like that. So for you to like, that's just weird. Like we've talked, we've had conversations. Like I feel like she knew I was not gonna do none of that. Like I feel like she knew enough of what type of person I was. So now she even told me like you're so genuine, you're so easy to talk, all of this. So you know what type of person I am, and you still acting weird towards me. Like, okay, girl. So I'm on my last client, guys. I'm on my last client. So she's in the shop. So she, now she knows like after this last client, like I'm getting ready to leave. So I peep. She calls her baby father. Her baby father never came to the shop not once. When she was vetting to me, she's like, yeah, like, he never wants to come. Like, so now the day I'm leaving, you tell him to come. All the other times, he never wanted to come. Now he want to come because I'm leaving, and you've been acting weird this whole week towards me. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. Still, like, being cool, not thinking nothing of it. So now she hasn't said a word to me this whole day. The second her baby father get in the shop, now she want to say something to me. She was like, um, what time are you going to be leaving with an attitude? That's how she said it. I was like, um, I should be done by 9. No, she was like, oh, you're going to be done by 9.30? I was like, yeah, I should be done. She's like, that's what I'm talking about. You always have an attitude. I'm like, what, bro? Like, I had a client and everything. So I'm like, like, what are you talking about? Her baby father, like, chill, just relax. She like, no, because I'm so tired of them. They're so disrespectful. Like, my time, like, I have to leave. Girl, nobody's stopping you from leaving. Like, and I had a client, yeah, and she's yelling. She's yelling at me. She's literally yelling. And I'm talking how, exactly how I'm talking to you guys right now. Like, I have a very calm voice, so I'm talking exactly how I'm talking to you guys right now while she's yelling. She, she starts saying stuff. It shouldn't take you this long to do lashes. It shouldn't take you this long to do lashes, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, girl, like, you don't even know how to do lashes because like, if you really want to talk about it, look at my sets compared to yours. Like, if you really want to talk about it, we could really talk money and we could see who, like, I don't play with me. Like, and I hate getting there because I'm so humble, y'all. I am so humble, but people really be trying me. Like, people really be trying me. So I'm still coming so respectful, so respectful, guys, so respectful. So I just stop entertaining. I just be quiet and finish lashing. Because I don't about to sit and yell at my client face. So she's still going, y'all. Still going. She's like, well, if you're not done by this time, you're going to have to leave your stuff. Come back tomorrow. I'm like, I'm still lashing. I'm like, I'm not coming back tomorrow. I'm going to get everything out tonight. <laughs> like, and she's just, that's just getting her more mad. And I feel like the fact I wasn't giving her a reaction made her even more mad. Because... One thing about me, you can't get no reaction out of me. Like, I really, like, be chilling. Like, I am the chillest 
person y'all will ever meet in y'all life okay so she's zooming up entirely too much so i told my client i'm like i'm so sorry girl like this is just ghetto and embarrassing can you just come tomorrow to the new shop yeah i didn't even move in a new shop and i have to tell her can she just come to the new shop and keep in mind the next day was thanksgiving so i had to end up doing her lashes on thanksgiving give her a whole discount all because of pink all because pink did all of that like oh my god like what the heck so she leaves right so my client leaves i start packing my stuff she's like well like um you want us to start taking it outside i'm like it's fine so i call my father so he could come help me and stuff like that and not even argue nothing i just said hey like didn't tell him nothing going on i said hey like can you come help me with my stuff out the shop please like i'm trying to leave right now or whatever so she um her and her baby father was looking at me while I was on the phone, like, thinking I'm about to tell someone to come fight them. No, like, I just need help moving my stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff. Like, her baby father was like, oh, um, I can start taking some outside. I'm like, no, if you're going to act weird like her, you can leave my stuff right here. She like, see what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? No, because you've been playing disrespect this whole time, and I've been quiet the whole time. Now the second I want to say something is I'm so disrespectful. I'm so disrespectful. So my father gets here in the midst of us going back and forth because now I'm entertaining the girl. So my father comes in the midst of us arguing. Now I finally decide to entertain this girl. We're going back and forth. Like I call her shop dirty, call her a bitch, all of that. She's like, oh my gosh, she called me a bitch. She called me a bitch. All the shit you've been saying this whole time, I call you a bitch and it's the end of the world. So my father and I'm like, chill. He brings his girlfriend. So my father and I'm like, chill, Jayla, chill, chill, chill. I hate when somebody see my reaction to something somebody else caused, guys. So I'm just like, whatever, whatever. He get there, I stop arguing with her. I'm just getting my stuff, trying to push it out. So now the girlfriend and my father in the shop, kumbaya, talking to them. I'm like no it's no way this girl been disrespecting me for a whole week harassing me for a whole week and y'all in the shop talking to her being kumbaya acting like y'all friends so i'm outside moving my stuff or whatever she's just like yeah like i've helped this girl so much i don't know why she's doing this acting like this at my shop you bro what did you help me with you always ask me for something i never not once needed nothing from you you help me because you let me work at your shop. It's shops everywhere. I didn't need to work at this shop. Like, bro, so I'm outside or whatever. My um dad's girlfriend comes out like, yeah. She said that she been talking about me like dog shit, saying that I'm fat, that you're too handsome to be with me. I'm like, my life is a joke. Yeah, I've mentioned the girlfriend to her when I was vetting and stuff, like about their wedding and stuff like that. I never not once called this girl fat or anything, bro. So for her to say that, bro, the girl didn't even know her weight till she got into the shop. So for her to say that was just like, what? And keep in mind, their wedding was the next day, my father and his girlfriend. So now you just trying to like ruin my life because you're mad everybody left your shop so like now you're trying to call shit between my family be all because you're mad making up lies and it's the fact she said all of this to her when i wasn't in the shop because all the stuff she said about her baby father i could have violated y'all i could have violated that girl but i don't do stuff piece stuff that people tell me i don't bring up even though the half the shit she said i didn't even tell her she just literally just made up or took what i said and dragged it so i'm just like what so my father like Jayla like this hush in front of the girl guys in front of the girl my father's like this to me Jayla this her shop you need to respect I don't care if you thought I was wrong or not you tell me that in private you're telling me in front of a whole girl who just disrespected me called her baby father on me and everything are you my father forget his girlfriend but you're my father god like I can't like I cannot make this shit up I cannot make this shit up like it's ridiculous yeah, so that honestly hurt my feelings because you made me look so stupid. You my father. I called you to help me, but I also called you because if anything went down, I knew you would have my back. And he did not have my back at all, guys. Like, he did not have my back at all. Like, the one person who was supposed to be there for you, he couldn't even be there for me. You over here choosing their side in front of me and in front of them. Like, then he gonna have the nerve, he gonna have the nerve to tell me, Jayla, you need to get your life together, all of this. Like, my life is together. I don't ask nobody for nothing. I pay all my bills by myself. So for you to try to say I need to get my life together, and we in front of all these people who just been disrespecting me, violating me and everything, like, yeah, I was ready to cut him off. But because I'm such a forgiving person, and, like, I feel like God forgave us, so we're supposed to forgive other people. But, like, 
come on now like come on and it's the fact that i'm still talking so calm about the situation because i'm not gonna allow this whole situation to get me worked up even though it's kind of getting me mad all over again but it's just like are you serious like you really choose her side he ain't even asked and i had to move in that shop that same night because i had another client that night guys he didn't ask if i need to help moving my stuff to the shop nothing like yeah i was really this close to cutting him off like cutting him off for good like bro never in my life like that like i never felt like that in my life he tried to be like yeah she my girlfriend came here because if anything went down she would have had your bag just to hear you talking about her bro like like it was just a whole mess guys literally threw everything in my car i'm telling him can he place it like this throwing everything in my car i guess because now he mad his girlfriend mad i'm your daughter like i'm your firstborn daughter like but i'm not gonna get too much into the family stuff because that's just gonna open up a bunch of family trauma that i'm sure y'all don't want to hear but that was pretty much it guys blocks her off everything like blocked her off everything that girl cannot see nothing i post can't get in contact with me nothing like these shop owners are so unprofessional it's ridiculous like I have a shop trauma like now thank god I have my own room that I rented a little studio space so I don't have to deal with no shop owners or anything like that and yeah like it was just a mess like I'm trying to think is there anything um in the story that I did forget but that was pretty much it like that whole time she was being disrespectful calling me on my name doing all of this stuff arguing with me then the one second I decide to entertain her I'm such this bad person so it's just like hey but i don't care what nobody thinks so it really didn't bother me so much it bothered me but not to the point like oh my god like i'm ruined because he didn't choose my side but like after that i called my girlfriend crying and everything telling her what happened like it was just embarrassing like you're choosing the side of somebody who just disrespected me harassing me this whole week like hey though it's whatever like honestly now i'm over it like now it's cool but it just was weird like the wedding all of that like she just caused a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff that didn't need to happen and it got to the point like i was telling all my friends my friend like why you ain't call me like we could have fought why you ain't call me because it was never supposed to be on no arguing fighting timing like i've genuinely wanted someone to just help me move my stuff out and my father couldn't even do that in peace. He couldn't just get my stuff. He had to just entertain a conversation. Like, bro, I'm to this day, I regret not calling my mother. Because one thing for sure, my mother got my back 100%. But I didn't want to call her because she wasn't feeling good and stuff like that. Why would I make her come not to deal with this? I should have called my mother. Because one thing about my mother, even if she felt like I was wrong, she would have told me that in private, not in front of the person disrespecting me. You know? I feel like that's just what you would do. Like, But nowadays, though, to me, honestly, family is cool, but family don't mean nothing to me like if you don't like if you don't act like family you don't like you're not my family family to me is more than a title you understand this shit got so personal so fast like <laughs> i feel like what like i'm talking about a testimony or something like this shit got so personal so fast but hey y'all uh, it's life what could you do i'm not mad about it no more i'm generally at peace i'm in my own studio so what more can i ask for everything happens for a reason guys okay whenever something bad is going on in your life you always ask god what's the reason for this like you know you always say okay what's the lesson i'm gonna learn for this like you know change the narrative a little bit and it'll help you like our situations way more positive so yeah if y'all have any questions about running salon booths and all of that like just let me know i'll be happy 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 to answer them but highly do not recommend make sure you actually really do know the owner and it's crazy because everybody in that town was talking about how that owner is messy and all of that i was still giving this girl the benefit of the doubt every time someone said something about her still defending her giving her the benefit of the doubt because she was so cool to me like she was really cool like you know but people could change just like that and i feel like she was mad because everybody was leaving her shop i don't think she could afford it without us working there and paying her booth money so that was that so now her new hours is like from 10 a.m to 9 so i think that's why only her and that same hairstylist is there because who no one's working on hours like when you have a business you shouldn't be told what time you can work until like you know what i'm saying so um i just hope that she gets all her licenses and everything in order so you know she can flourish and stuff like that because i don't wish bad on nobody like still of course all, i still want the best for her like i want her to excel i want everybody to excel in life everybody with businesses everybody who working all of that you know you just gotta wish good on people okay 
so that was it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy this okay this was probably like i think this was my this might be one of my favorite story times to tell because there's so many lessons you can learn from this like so many lessons you can learn from this comment down your thoughts okay i would love to hear them and yeah just make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not post notifications so you guys do not miss when i upload follow all my social media everything is literally jayla monet and i'm gonna see you guys later